Hey guys, thanks for watching this video, creating and managing content library in vSphere 6.5 part 1. What is content library? A content library is a repository of VM templates, OVF templates, vApps, ISO images, and any other file types that can be shared and synchronized across vCenter server systems. Now what is use of content library? Content library is very useful for organizations having multiple vCenter server systems in data center around the globe or organizations having multi-site environment. Content library provides simple and very effective way of managing content, VM templates, vApps, ISO images, and helps organization in keeping this content up to date across all of the sites by synchronizing the content with publisher library to make sure that latest version of these files is always available across all the sites. In part one of this lab, we will be discussing about how to create and publish a content library. So let's get started. Now let's log into our vCenter server, vcsa-01a.govmlab.local, provide SSO username, administrator, at the rate of vSphere.local, SSO password of our vCenter server, click on login. Now, as you could see, we are successfully logged into our vCenter server. Now, if you see, now if you see in this, in, in this environment, we have a two vCenter server, vcsa-01a.govmlab.local, which is a part of a data center, govm lab hyphen mumbai hyphen dc so we have a one data center which is in mumbai and there is a, another vcenter server vcsa hyphen 02a.govm lab.local and there is a, we have another data center called govm lab hyphen bangalore hyphen dc so this is our true multi site environment where one of the site is one of the site is having a data center in mumbai where the another site is having a data center in bangalore Now, if you see, I am already having a one template created and named or marked as golden template. So this is going to be our, our base template, which, we, which is currently located in Mumbai data center. And we want to share or synchronize this library or this template to our Bangalore site using content library. So we'll be referring to this template in this particular lab. So let's first go and create a content library. So click on home button and you could see there's an icon called as content library. Click on content library and it will take us to the content library page. You could see the option here, create a new content library. So click on create a new content library, give any name, to this content library so i'll give a name let's say this is my because mumbai is my primary site so i'll give a primary content library mumbai site you can give a note for this library what you are creating it so this is primary library which contains golden template. Now this is very important where you want to create this library on which data center you want to create this library. So as I said, we are going to create this library on our Mumbai data center, which is being managed by vcsa-01a.govmlab.local vCenter server. So select this vCenter server, click on next, and now you could see we have a three different options of configuring content library. The first option is local content library. Second one is local content library with publish externally. And the third one is subscribe content library. So let's discuss each option one by one. So the first option is local content library. You can create a local content library for, this, for the content which you want to save or share. Let's say you have some golden template like in our case right and we want to save or we want to share this content to another 
sites. In that particular case, you can create a local content library. But most important thing is basically this content library, local library you are creating, it exists on a single vCenter server instance. And the content, whatever you are creating would be only accessible by the local vCenter server instance. You can add items to your local library or you can remove items to your local library. Now there's another option, local content library with publish externally. Now, what this publish externally does, so if, if you uncheck publish externally, which means that whatever the data you have kept in your local content library is only accessible to that vCenter server instance. The moment when you check publish externally and you mark your, in that particular case, your content library services or its data can also be accessed by other vCenter server instances in your virtual environment. When you publish a library, you can also configure, if you see there's an option of enabling authentication. So when you publish a library, you can also configure the authentication method, which a subscribed library must use to authenticate to it. So this is about local content library and local content library with the publish externally. Now the third option what we have is subscribe content library. You can create a subscribe library and populate its content by synchronizing to a local library. So a subscribe library contains copy of the local library files or it might contain just the metadata of the library items. In subscribe content library, you also have an option of enable authentication. So if publisher has published this library with the authentication, you have to use the same authentication method to, to access the local content library content. So we'll have a, so in part one of this lab, we are going to create a local content library. In the part two of this lab, we'll discuss about how do we subscribe to a published library. So let's go with the local content library. Click on local content library, click on next. Now select the storage location where your library content data will be stored. So you can have a NFS server. If you have an NFS server, you can just select an NFS server and provide a path of your NFS server. Or if you have a VMFS formatted data store, you can select the data store as well. So I'll select data store one, click on next. And here we could review all of our content library configuration. So our name of our content library is primary content library Mumbai. This is the primary library which contains golden templates. It is going to be created on this vCenter server, managed by this vCenter server, vcsa018.govmlab.local. And at this point of time, the type of content library is local content library. And the publisher status is no, which means the data of this content library will only be managed by the vCenter server instance, vcsa-01a only. Click on finish. You can see the progress in the taskbar of content library. And as you could see, the content library has created successfully. So this is our content library, which we just created. Click on this content library. Summary section. You could see that as of now, because we have, have not uploaded any data to this content library. That's why there is no data of the data. So there is size of this content library, zero bytes, create date, modified date. And this is what the overall information about your content library. Now, what is the next thing we want to do at this point of time? We have created a content library. Now we want to clone our golden template, what we had created to this content library. So go to host and sorry, go to VMs and templates and select your template, which you want to be cloned to your content library. So select your golden template, right click on it. And there's an option called clone to library. Now what this option will do, it will clone your golden template to a, as a library content. So click on clone to library. Since we are creating a new template, so clone is a new template. Click select the content library where you want to clone this template. You can give a template name. 
to new golden template so basically we are creating a new template and storing it in our content library so i'll give a golden template mumbai cl mumbai content library if you want to preserve mac addresses on a network adapter you can select this option if you want to include extra configuration you can select this option as of now we don't want to preserve any of our mac addresses and extra configuration we want to do it so we'll just go with the default one click on ok and now as you as you could see in the task progress a ovf template has started export ovf template process has started and now files are being uploaded to a library item as you could see the transfer files have triggered and uploading files to a library item let's wait for a few minutes to get this operation completed now as you could see the operation has the task has completed successfully so let's go to a content library click on home and there you could see we have a content libraries click on content libraries select our content library now as you could see a golden template mumbai content library has been so a new template has been stored in our content library primary content library the type of this content is vm template it is stored content locally yes so it is very important to remember it is not a published content it is just stored content library locally what is the, the, the what exactly this template contains it contains 32 bit linux os the size of this content is 32 mb and this is the last date where it was modified so this is about how do we create a content library so that's the first type of library which you can create it now the, the second type of library which we discussed was publishing a local library so now let's discuss how do we publish this local library content to a subscribed library so that any of the other site can subscribe to this published library and have access to this data so to do, to do that click on our content library right click on our content library click on edit settings and there is an option publish this, publish this content library externally now when you click on this option publish this content library externally as you could see we get a one subscription url and any of the subscribed library can access to this published content library content by using this subscription url so click on publish this content library externally and if you want to enable authentication just enable user authentication provide a password i'll give a password vmware at the rate of one two three click on ok sorry we need to provide a bit of complex password i'll give a new complex password click on ok now as you could see the library has been updated now if you click on content libraries click on objects and now as you could see it shows the status the type as local and published is yes and this is a password protected content library So this concludes our lab for creating and publishing a local content library. In part two of this lab, we will be discussing about subscribing to a published library and how to deploy a VM from a content library. Thank you.